Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jordan here from Piano. We're learning a new song every Friday, and this week we're learning Let It Be by The Beatles. This is a classic piano ballad, and it's got a classic set of piano chords, so I'm going to show you exactly what they are right now. Uh, let's take a look at the verse progression. The verse progression is going to be a C chord, followed by a G chord, followed by an A minor chord, followed by an F chord, and then C, G, F, back to C. So the song's in the key of C major, which is great because we don't have to worry about any of these black keys. We're just sticking to the white keys. Um, and let's just uh, break this down in terms of what we can number our chords, and that makes it a bit easier. So we have a C chord being our one chord. Then we go to a five chord, so that G is the fifth chord in the C major scale. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we have a minor six chord because just one note above our fifth note is A. And that's always a minor chord in uh, the major scale sequence of chords. So one chord, five chord, a minor six chord, and then we have our F chord, which is a four chord. So one, two, three, four. And then one, five, four. So throughout this song, there's a couple things to keep in mind because this song takes a lot of mileage from that progression. And it uses different chord inversions and different uh, sort of feel changes and dynamic builds and louds and softs to give the song that build as it, as it progresses. So you can start off just nice and simple with kind of playing in in and around C and root position. Uh, but there's certain moments of the song where maybe you want to be up higher. You know, there's so many ways to take a simple song like this and make it your own. But I've played along to the studio track in a nice uh, sort of simple rhythm, just with the basic triads. And you can follow along with me right now. All right, and if that was still a little bit too fast for some of the beginners out there, I'm gonna slow it down even further, and you can just make sure you got each of these triads nice and solid. All right, and one last thing about that verse, just pay attention to that little melody phrase that the piano does at the end of that progression. So you go C to G, and then we have this F chord. And that's just a major walk down from F to C. So F, E, D, C. Okay, so let's move on to the chorus. The chorus is still using those same chords, just in a bit of a different order. So now we're starting on the A minor chord. So 
So that's the basic progression in a nutshell. So all it is is an A minor chord, followed by a G, followed by an F, followed by a C, and then we go up to C, G, and then the same F chord with that little walk down. So it starts on the minor chord, and then it goes down to G, F, C, C, G, F with the melody down. So I'll show you that chorus along to the track right now. So if you noticed as I was playing there, the second C in that progression, so I'll just play it here. So we got A minor, G, F, C. And now because I have two Cs in a row here, it's just nice to change the color of that chord really subtly. So all I do is I just move up one inversion. So here I am in this C in first inversion, take this E note, put it up high, and then we have our final little phrase in the melody. So I can show you this uh, slowed down now so you can get each motion nice and tight. All right, so the final thing I want to show you in this song is the little outro riff that finishes each chorus. Sounds like this. So it sounds kind of fancy, and there's a bit of jumping around to do, but it's actually a pretty simple chord exercise, kind of based on chord inversions, really. So I'll explain. We have a F chord as our first chord in the sequence. So this is an F chord up high, it's just F in second inversion, so. And then we go from this F chord to a C chord, and then we go to an F chord again, but this time we're one inversion down. So it's two sets of F to Cs, so F, C, F, C, and now we go G, F, down one inversion, G, F, C. So again. Right? So the final part of this riff actually is played on the organ. It's just the exact same riff, but an octave higher on a different instrument. But if you want to mess around with it on the piano, just take that same riff and play it up here. Super simple. So now I'm going to show you this riff along to the track. Okay, so that was along to the track at the regular tempo. Now I'm going to show you it nice and slow.
All right, so that's Let It Be, everybody. Uh, it's a super simple song. I think any beginner piano player can tackle this song. You don't have to worry so much about all the embellishments that are happening on the actual studio track. Just see this song as a set of easy, simple triads. Uh, you can mess around, you can maybe sing along to it or have a friend sing along while you accompany them. Uh, if you want to see me play along to the studio track with these nice, simple chords, just check that video above. If you have any suggestions for what you want me to teach, uh, leave a comment below. And if you're a member of Pianop.com, we have practice loops of each section of this song that you can use to practice at two separate tempos. All right, thanks so much for watching, everybody. We'll see you later.